tell me what is this? How to, how about interest? As we're talking about money and Godonomics in the Bible, how does that tie? Where does interest come into the picture here? Well, you know, interest uh, for centuries was considered to be uh, usury and was forbidden until John Calvin showed up. And as one of the reformers, he said, you know, I don't think that the Bible forbids it. In fact, Jesus tells a story once that says, hey, um, I gave some talents out. And one of the talents he gives, which is an amount of uh, skill or talent or valuables, he turns to the last guy and says, why didn't you at least put it in the bank so you'd get some interest? And so John Calvin said, if Jesus was saying, hey, interest isn't all bad, just make sure that when you give interest, you're not using it to exploit the poor, and make sure you're doing it, if you're on either end of the business, to you, you'd be okay with it. All right. So now is this program, this is Chad Hovind, by the way. He's got a program called God Onomics. Um, is this something, I mean, are people using this to get their finances back? And is this a program? Yeah, it both talks about personal. It's like how to get uh, God's wisdom for personal economic decisions, family economic decisions. But also, I don't think a lot of people talk about the macro level. And the Bible speaks a lot to the macro issues. To the white like, issues? Why doesn't socialism work? Back to that idea, the Bible over and over says, that socialism rewards laziness and punishes hard work. And throughout the Proverbs it says the ant works really, really hard and getting all his food and everything ready for summer, the sloth doesn't. And the sloth is always trying to leech off the, uh, the ant. And it's like there's two types of people. There's people who like group projects in school and those who hated it. I was a straight-A student, and I'd get these group projects, and I'd have to work twice as hard because somebody in the, in the group didn't want to work at all. <laughs> I hear and so you. That's I... like Galatians 6, 8 says, you, know, you reap what you sow. And uh -huh. socialism tries to get around that and say, no, you don't have to reap what you sow. We can reward you for being lazy, and we're going to punish the people who produce. All right. It's an interesting concept. I want to put you on hold for just a second. I want to get a quick...